everybody, I'm Melanie from Charlotte County Library and History Division and today for Chess 101 we are going to learn the basics of the pieces. So I'm going to tell you the names of each piece, where they go on the board, so their positioning on the chess board, and what movements they make. Alright, here we go. This piece is called the pawn. There are eight pawns in both colors on the chess set. So there's a total of 16 pawns on the chessboard. This piece is called the rook. It looks kind of like a castle. And each player has two rooks. This piece is called a bishop. And each player has two bishops. This piece is called a knight. It kind of looks like a horse. And each player has two knights. That piece is the queen, and each player has one queen. And this is the king. This is the most important guy on the board because the object of the game of chess is to put the opponent's king in a position where they cannot move without being taken. So it's called check when your king can be taken in its current position and it's called checkmate when they can't move without being taken. So when you're setting up your board, the second row for each player is all pawns. And the pieces look the same for both player, they're just in different colors. So no matter what version of chess that you get, unless it's like the Lord of the Rings chess set, the, the pieces will look the same in different colors. So after your row of pawns, your rooks go on the outside edges. Next to the rooks go the knights. And then the bishops. And then one rule about setting up your chess set is that the queen always goes on her own color. So the white queen will go on the white square, or the lighter square, because sometimes the boards are not black and white. And the black queen will go on the black square. And then the king will go next to his queen. So now we're going to talk about the movements of the pieces, and I'm going to turn the board. I turn the board this way so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So the pawns, in every case except for the knight, the pieces in the back cannot jump. So it's important to move your pawns out of the way so you can free up your pieces in the back. So your pawn has to move in the forward direction unless it's taking another piece, then it can move diagonally. So. In every move, other than the first one, the pawn can only move one space forward. But in the first move, you can move it two. So to take a piece with the pawn, you're going to take diagonally. So either one of these two pieces can take the other if it's their turn. So the white can take the black one, or the black can take the white one because they're moving forward from their position. If the black piece is directly in front of the white piece, you cannot take that way. It has to be one of the diagonals for capturing another, play, another piece with the pawns. Once the pawn is out of the way for the rook, the rook moves straight. So it moves as many spaces as you want in either the forward or sideways and it can move it one space at a time, or you can move it all eight. The knight is the only piece on the board that can jump another piece without taking it. You can take with all of the pieces, um, but you can jump a piece with the knight. So you can start by moving your knight instead of your pawn. So knights move in an L shape. So they either move two forward and one over, or two over and one forward. So it always looks like an L. 
or two horizontally and one vertically if you want to think about it like that. And the, to take with the knight, it has to be on its ending piece. You can't take one in the middle. So if there was a pawn here and a pawn here, you could, and you took this one, you wouldn't be taking this one too. You would only be taking the piece in the ending position of your knight. The bishop moves diagonally on its color that it's on. So this bishop would move, you have to move the pawns out of the way first for it to move. But this bishop would move diagonally along the black squares. And this bishop would move diagonally along the lighter squares. The bishop can move as many pieces as you want in one move. So you can move one square or you can move all the way across. The queen can go any direction she wants, as many spaces as she wants. So the queen can go anywhere. The king can go anywhere, but only one space at a time. And the, knight, the pawns cannot go backwards. So if it's out of its home where it lives, it has to go forward. It cannot go back home, except right now. All right. So that is the basics of the pieces of chess, where they go, and how they move. So join us next time for Chess 101 to learn some more about the game. Bye, guys.